In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can get a Chromebox Alpha to measure the reliability of items on a scale. So I'm going to use a life satisfaction scale, and you see I have five items here. And they are all going in the same direction, strongly disagree through to strongly agree, and they're all positively worded. So they're all worded in the same way. Now before we get started, let's just note a, a few things about Chromebox Alpha. The first thing is that it's measuring the internal consistency between items on a scale. Internal means that we're looking at how a participant is responding across all items. So if a participant is, say, responding on the upper end of a scale, like neutral, st agree, strongly agree, we would expect them to be responding that way for each item in the scale. We don't want to see that they're responding like strongly agree for some items and then strongly disagree for other items because that's inconsistent. If you have a mix of positive and negatively worded questions, your alpha will be negative. So you need to make sure to reverse code your variables first. Now you can choose to reverse code the positive ones or reverse code the negative ones. It doesn't matter. Just make sure they're all going in the same direction. And if you want to see how to reverse code variables, please see that specific video. Okay, so back to our data. We've got five items and let's go ahead and get started with our Chromebox Alpha. So from the Analyze menu, we're going to go to Scale and then Reliability Analysis. I'm going to select my five items, my life satisfaction items. Now you can highlight them all at once by holding on the Shift key and move it over. Now it's important to note when you're doing a Chromebox Alpha, you have to do it for each scale that you have. So you see I've got two scales. I have an optimism scale and it has six items and I have a life satisfaction scale which has five items. Um, so I need to do two Chromebox Alpha for this data. You do not do Chromebox Alpha for your entire questionnaire. It doesn't make sense because people are going to be answering differently across scales and across items. So it's just a Chromebox Alpha for each scale. We want a Chromebox Alpha, so we're going to make sure that Alpha is selected here. And you can go ahead and give it a label, and this will label your output. It's not compulsory, but it's helpful in labeling your output. Okay, from the Statistics tab, we're going to choose Item, Scale, and Scale if Item deleted from the Descriptives frame. And we want Means and Correlations from the Summaries and correlations from the inter-item frame. For more detail about which items to select, I do recommend the SPSS Survival Manual by Julie Pallant. Go ahead and click Continue, and then click OK. OK, so here's our Chromebox Alpha output. We're going to go through each one of these in the next video where we interpret what all of our output means.